And auscultating the posterior thorax, you need to inspect, look for any lesions, deformities, any difficulty in moving of the thoracic cavity, examine the skin. Um, so you've inspected that. Now you want to palpate, palpate for any um, abnormalities generally on the skin. Palpate down the cervical spine for tenderness and for um, you want to have him breathe, the patient breathe in and out, check for expansion of the lungs. The hands should move out gently. If you hold it gently, you can watch your thumbs move in and out. You're going to ask him to say 99 or blue moon to feel the tactile fremitus and say 99. As you move down, it should disappear. Down here in the lower, it gets light, lighter and it's stronger up here in that area. Then you will percuss. Percussion is done between the um, intercostal areas. You should have a general resonance sound. As you compare, it's always comparing one side to the other. You're percussing in the same areas you would be auscultating. Also comparing the sides. Now you will auscultate. You will, you've inspected, you've palpated, checking for the expansion, tactile fremitus, then you have percussed, now you will auscultate. You will auscultate in the same areas. Use your diaphragm and you're listening. You're not going over the scapula, you, you are going to listen between the intercostal areas, comparing at each side and listening for a full inspiration and expiration. And you can ask the patient just breathe in and out each time I move my stethoscope and wait for a full so that you can hear that there are no adventitious sounds. So you're comparing this. You imagine the lungs under here. You would make sure you auscultate on the sides. Then you are done with the posterior and you're ready for the anterior.